Hydrate or dehydrate. Say bye, Grand Canyon. Bye. <laughs> Amazing. Hey guys, so it has been a hot second since I filmed a video like this and I just like sat down in front of my camera, my big camera, just to film a little talking video. I just turned off the air conditioning in our apartment and now I feel very exposed and like everyone can hear me. So that's really good. Literally, I don't think I've done a video like this in like a year, like since my last recap video. So today is my 2019 recap, 2020 goals. I realize it is already January, but this type of video, this video that I've done literally since 2013, so 2012 recap was my first one, same difference, but it's like something very special to me and something that I mostly just do for myself so that I have each year all together in one video for me to look back on. I love looking back at these videos and looking at each year and looking at me. <laughs> and the talking portion for each year and like how much I change each year and just like grow up. Like my first one, I literally am a baby and my eyebrows look so bad and I was just like so weird. I don't know, when I first started my YouTube channel, I wasn't super comfortable in front of the camera. I don't know, right now I feel pretty uncomfy because I haven't done this in so long. <laughs> yeah, anyways, I feel like I noticed myself definitely like kind of morphing to like whatever YouTuber I was really into at that time. I would like kind of act like them <laughs> unintentionally just because I really liked them and their personalities. So today, <laughs> I'm finally doing my recap. I have been literally processing this and this video and wanted to do this video literally since New Year's Eve, obviously. I've been wanting to do this. While I was at home, it was very busy. And I also just haven't like totally moved in to that new house, my space, and like made it my own and like made a place where I like feel inspired to film. Like in here, I've like decorated it all myself. I don't know, I just feel like a little bit more inspired to like film here. But I've also just been really busy while I've been here. And I've just been like really taking the time to just really process life. As I am finishing up my last year of college, last year at GCU, there's just been a lot that I've been thinking about. I'm definitely like a deep thinker. Sometimes a good thing, sometimes a bad thing. I've just been thinking a lot about all that God has done in my life while I've been here. Just like all the things that I've learned, all the things that have changed that I didn't think were going to change that I thought would be the same all throughout college. Things that I've become passionate about or lost interest in throughout college. Literally my last year of school, like we are in school from the time we are like five or four years old. It's just so weird when like that literally starts to end. <laughs> like it's literally your whole life. In high school, you're kind of having to think about what college you're going to go to. I like had a really hard time I'm picking a college, picking a career path. If you've been on my channel, you may know that because I've made videos about it. But once I did like decide on GCU and 
visit GCU and work towards my goal of going here and then I finally got here and then like it's all just been a wild whirlwind ever since but it's just like it was this thing in my head for so long of like my dream to like go to GCU and do all these things that I had imagined and like live in a dorm and like this was such a big dream and goal of mine it's just weird to me that like that season of my life is ending and I'm entering this whole brand new season of like adulthood and career and just like all the things that God is going to do in this next season like I can't even really imagine I don't just like thinking about all that he's done in my life through my years of school wow it is so hot I hate having the air conditioning off um so I've just been processing that and watching my recap video over and over again and just being so thankful. I'm so excited for this new chapter, but I'm also like so sad to be leaving this chapter. It's been such a weird thing for me because I'm so ready to like move on from this chapter. I miss home so much. I have had a kind of a harder time more recently with like having to go back and forth, not really feeling super settled. I don't know. It's, it's just really interesting because I have to like bounce back and forth between these two worlds. Yeah. So it's been like, it's been kind of um, a challenge for me. So I am kind of ready to not have to do that anymore and to just like be home and be doing what I'm so passionate about and what the Lord has placed on my heart and why I'm here. At the same time, I'm like so sad about leaving this place that has just brought me so many amazing experiences, so many precious friendships and just like such an important time of growing. I am such an introvert. Many people who watch my videos and then know me in person literally are like, you're not the same person. I don't really like to use introverted as the same as shy because to me, they're two different things. Like to me, introverted means I get my energy from being alone, but shy is like, I'm just like shy. I don't know, to me, it's two different things. I just needed this time in my life to really spread my wings, just like be independent, be forced to be independent and make friends on my own, experience life on my own in a place where I literally knew nobody. I came here, I did not know a single soul. So I just felt like it was really necessary for me as a person. I think I should probably go ahead and get into my recap so I don't make this video like 20 years long. 2019 was basically a lot of what I just said. <laughs> just like a lot of processing, thinking about life and thinking about all that God has done in my life at GCU. Every year has been so different at GCU and just like doing a lot of thinking about that. So to start the year off, one of my like most vivid memories is going to Flagstaff with a bunch of my worship arts friends and we went and saw our friend Logan in concert at one of like her first live shows. I feel like it was maybe her first but I'm not really sure but we went and like watched her and supported her at this cute coffee shop and it was a lot of fun and we kind of made a trip out of it and explored and like stayed the night in a hotel and it was so much fun to just like hang out with my friends in like a different environment on the ride up there I got to have some really good talks with some of my good girlfriends and it was just a really refreshing beautiful trip we took some of my most favorite pictures of all time that were in this slideshow beforehand oh my gosh if this chair doesn't stop squeaking I swear oh my gosh so that was a really fun trip I also last semester is when I like officially started Started really doing stuff for my job here, which is I'm a cast member of the show Living as Lopes. You should go check that out. I literally love it. When I think about it, I almost can't even comprehend what God has done, like the job that he has given me. What? Like literally my dream job. So basically I vlog for GCU. So mind blowing. I like never cease being amazed by the fact that that's my job. <laughs> it's on GCU's YouTube channel and Instagram. And we also now have our very own Instagram page and it's at F-Y-P-L-A-L, -L, which stands for Finding Your Purpose Living as Lopes. It's been so much fun and one of the coolest experiences of my life. I literally get to vlog and edit vlogs and just like for my job. It's cool, it's great. I always kind of dreamt about YouTube becoming my job and just never really worked out. My channel has never grown like super 
rapidly and I feel like it's just like hasn't been a part of God's plan and I'm 100% fine with that because it's so clear that coming here and doing what I've been doing here has been so a part of God's plan and I mean it's just beautiful how God works in our lives and how he has just done all that he knew was right for me. My dream did come true but just in a way that I was totally not expecting it and I think that is just such a testimony of like God's faithfulness and him knowing that there are so much greater things that he has may not even exist yet or like you may have no knowledge of it but like he does and he's going to bring that to you. I try to hold on to that when I'm thinking about things in my life. That is something that God has taught me. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating so much. That is something that God has taught me tremendously. If like somebody asks me what my biggest lesson that I've learned in college is, I may come up with something else if I really sat down and thought about it. But one of my biggest lessons that I have learned is that God is faithful to his plan. His ways are so much higher than my own. And I know that that seems like such a just basic thing. Like if you're a Christian, like that's something that's engraved in your mind. Like at the same time, I knew all of that, but I didn't really learn to see it or accept it or realize it until college. It wasn't until coming here that I really started to understand and witness God working in my life in that way. For so long, I feel like in high school and everything, it was just very, your next year is pretty much already planned out for you. Like there's just not a ton of change going on until you like go to college. And that's kind of, for me at least, when I'm saying school wise, not anything else really in life. Cause when you go to college, you're like looking for a new job. You're probably wanting a relationship and just like different things like that or like internships or places to serve or places to build community especially if you go out of state there's just so much newness and so much to trust God in not to say that I didn't see God working in high school totally did but it was just like really clear to me in college moving on <laughs> the rest of my spring semester last year I wouldn't say there were like any huge things that I want to point out there were like a lot of fun things that I did and little adventures I went on and basketball games and camping out for basketball games. I haven't really been much of a havoc this year. Oops, um, a little bit senioritis creeping in. But I would say probably the last thing that I would wanna talk about from that semester is the friendships that I really started to deepen. With. I had like a huge group of transfer friends that I was pretty close with. I would say I was closest with them like in the beginning of my college years, the friends I went to Disneyland with and just like that group of friends I was very close with. And then last spring, I started to really get a lot closer with my worship arts friends. A lot of my transfer friends were were graduating that semester and then a lot of them graduated last semester in the fall so like most of them literally all of them <laughs> except like two were older than me or not older than me necessarily but ahead of me in school so I started to grow like a lot closer to my worship arts friends and towards the end of the semester we were doing so many fun things I don't know it's just like something about the end of the semester about to go home for summer that like we just wanted to be together 24 7 so we like went birding downtown did game nights like every other day of the week we went out to eat together we had like a really really fun girls night sleepover. I literally, that night I literally just poured my whole heart out to all of them and I just felt so supported and loved. It was like the most wonderful feeling that I knew was straight from God and I was just like so thankful in that moment for like these sweet friendships that I am so blessed to have. Literally blows my mind. Yeah, so that was kind of the end of last semester. I was pretty sad about having to go home which is kind of funny because I was like so ready until like the last two weeks and then I started getting, getting like super emotional. Just this whole thing of like going to my senior year being my senior year like has just really made me emotional and not to mention like my d deep desire to also get home it just whirlwind of emotions over here okay and then this summer was really good it was honestly my church was like working on something really big and it literally consumed my whole summer all of the gcu vloggers who were logging my vlog content noticed that it literally consumed my whole summer because i was filming that every single day and it was so good and so great but very just like we want to get to this finish line the whole summer and so there was a lot of that i hung out with my friends a few times summer is always really busy so it's hard sometimes to like connect with them the whole summer but we definitely got to hang out a lot i went to the lake a couple of times which was so much fun because i didn't get to go last summer because Corey wasn't home it was really fun to do that and just feel kind of like i was like a young child again <laughs> 
What am I saying? I don't know. The lake just reminds me of like right before I went to GCU because that was like when I was going a lot with Corey. And then we had a wonderful church camp again with my church. Literally the highlight of every year. Like I live for church camp with my church. I live for it. I think about it the entire year. I'm planning for it the entire year. It is my love. It is one of the big things that has called me to what I feel like God has called me to do. My youth group has just made such a huge impact on me through my entire life. So I am a sponsor. I've literally never left the youth group. I've, as soon as I graduated, I just continued like working in it and I just like love it so much. And the kids in it literally are my favorite people in the whole world. <laughs> um, I just love them so much. And I don't know if I have like really too many more things to say about this summer, but it was a really good one and it was really great. It was really hard, really hard to leave and come back to school just like it was last year because I just didn't want to leave all that we were doing. So I got here in the fall and to be 100% honest with you, one of my friends who was literally like my best friend for the whole past year graduated and right off the bat, I felt way just like by myself. I know that that might sound silly, but like I just like right off the bat noticed a difference because we were just like attached at the hip all the time. But also right off the bat, I realized that I literally have such great roommates this year and it's just such a peaceful environment to live in, which um, is such a blessing in college. All the girls that I live with are just so easy to get along with and quiet, <laughs> which sounds kind of funny, but like just like coming home to like a quiet place for me, that's really comforting. Some people don't like that, but I have just like really appreciated that and loved that. Quietness brings me peace. And I also am going to say that literally going into fall semester, I felt so like shocked to be back in this environment after being at home. GC is just like on a whole nother level, especially for introverts. Like it's just so fast paced, so many people. So there's so many people on this campus and it's just like feels so different than like if you're just like home with your family. So I was definitely like kind of put into like, whoa, like I forgot how like extroverted I have to be here because I do actually have the ability to bring that out. It just doesn't always come out. That was fall. I went to California with my besties pretty spontaneously. Literally we planned it in like two days and left. It was really fun. I've been to the California, I, what? the California. I've been to California beaches before, but only for one day and it was freezing. So this was like my first like California beach trip and it was a lot of fun. Super beautiful. We went to San Diego, we went to Mission Beach and Moonlight Beach. Super beautiful. Definitely recommend Moonlight Beach. So pretty. It was really fun. And then I also went back to California for my friend Travis's birthday. Both of these trips I vlogged, so much fun. That trip for Travis's birthday, definitely one of the highlights of the semester. It was just so much fun. I got to bond with friends that I don't normally like bond with. That's one of my favorite things about taking road trips with my friends is that like you're literally forced in a car with these people. And so like you're going to bond, you're going to get to know one another and you're like, it's just so much fun to me. But yeah, it was really fun. Stayed in Airbnb. One of my favorite things ever. Airbnbs are just so much fun. And we had a bonfire on the beach, which is kind of like been a little dream of mine. We went to Santa Monica Pier, which has always been another dream of mine. Just like watching all these LA YouTubers, like you always just kind of like just a little bit dream of doing like fun little things like that. I got to go home three times last semester. I was home so often. It was so great. It was so nice to have those little breaks in the semester. Such a blessing, literally a biggest blessing. It was just a really good semester. Overall, we reached that finish line with my church. We've entered this new exciting season and I just know God is going to do so many awesome things. Christmas was really nice. It was really busy to be honest. There wasn't like a ton of resting going on, but it was super nice to be home with my family and just enjoy that time with them. And me and my friends went to the lake for a night and just like had a little cabin sleepover basically. And then, here we are. I would say that's a pretty good little summary recap of my year. It has been a really good year and it has taught me a lot and it has brought me so many new experiences and friendships and like beginnings, but also like a beautiful like start to a close, you know, as I'm like graduating, literally order my cap and gown a couple days ago. Crazy, like it's so crazy. I just can't believe I'm graduating college and I can't believe I'm leaving GCU and I, yeah, it's just wild. Now we're gonna move in to some goals. I've been thinking a lot about this. Having a hard time picking my goals, but I have come up with a few. One of the things is that I feel like my quiet times with God have gotten just slightly pushed to the side, just slightly, and I'm not proud of this. Don't like that I have to say this, but I'm being honest with you guys. So one of my big goals I've been working on this year so far is to not get on my phone until I have 
read my Bible. So last semester I started learning piano. I forgot to talk about that, which has was so much fun. I love it. I love piano now and it's like so soothing to me to sit at a piano and work on it even if I'm not very good. I just like love being able to play and accompany myself when I sing. So where's my water? Oh my, I'm thirsty. I'm literally sweating right now just trying to get some good audio. One of my goals for 2020 is just to keep practicing piano and then also I've started learning guitar this semester. Also one of my goals for this year is that once I do graduate I don't stop really practicing and working on voice making sure that I'm exercising my vocal cords. I just want to do the best that I possibly can do with that. I don't want to stop because I've been in vocal lessons for the past six semesters and I just really don't want to like lose all that I've learned or like not continue progressing. So that's one of my goals. Also one of my goals is to keep doing my physical therapy exercises. So something that happened to me more like 2018 was I started dealing with a back injury. I've actually been doing way better. I did go to the chiropractor over the summer so I think that helped a lot. It definitely was like once I got here I started getting way better. I don't know why. I'm trying to like keep up with those exercises and get stronger slowly because I know I can't like jump right into like doing hard ab exercises. I'm not supposed to do those kinds of things so it's kind of hard for me sometimes I sometimes get kind of discouraged because I just like want to do things but like I know that I would be harming my body actually by doing those things but like I feel so weak and I don't feel strong um one of my goals is to do my exercises take baby steps and hopefully heal my back and get to a place where I can exercise more and be more active than I used to be so I would say those are like my main goals um just to continue like working passionately on the things that I love music videos I have three weddings booked all already I'm so excited getting back into like having really good meaningful quiet times each morning exercising as best as I can and yeah just kind of living a healthier more intentional lifestyle all around um pretty much always kind of the things that I shoot for each year but just gonna continue working towards those so yeah I would say that's pretty much my recap and goals for the year um it's been a great year and I've learned so much and yeah, I'm really looking forward to 2020, this huge, beautiful new season that I have coming up. I'm so excited to see what God has in store, all that he's going to teach me and show me and like grow me in this year. God is good and yeah, time for 2020. I'll see you guys next time on my channel. I do have more videos on the way. Um, I didn't even talk about my YouTube channel in this video because if you guys have noticed, I've been a little MIA. There's been a little bit of burnout, a little bit of not feeling inspired, but I really love YouTube. I always will. And like, as I enter into this new season, I just really want to continue it, enter a new season on my YouTube channel as well. This is not something that I want to give up on or lose in my life. I feel like it has taught me so much and grown me so much and brought me so many awesome opportunities. This year has just been a little bit lacking on my YouTube and I just hate how much I say like new videos are coming or like I'm gonna upload every week now because it's a new year or like all these different things and then I just like always fail <laughs> and it like really frustrates me to be honest and I feel like every video I'm like it's been a long time and that's so annoying like I just don't want to be one of those youtubers that like only uploads like once every like three months like that is not my intention it never has been <laughs> but I guess you know as I just like don't do this full time that sometimes it's just like not the priority even though I want it to be yeah I do have more videos some films some planned that I'm hopefully gonna be working on soon stay tuned for more videos thank you guys so much for subscribing and watching it means the world to me yes like this video if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more videos like this comment down below something fun and exciting and I will talk to you guys next time also just a reminder, I also have a vlog channel. It is always linked down below. It's like the very first thing. You should go subscribe to that if you like this channel because I do a lot more vlogs over there. Just like daily vlogs, shorter vlogs, not like week in my life. So yes, go check out that channel if you like those kinds of videos. Make sure you're subscribed to both my channels. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.